We move now to China. The country has been blanketed by smog for weeks, and the population is demanding solutions from the government. Today, the Chinese government promised, once again, to try and alleviate the pollution hovering over the country. Here's the report by I-24 News reporter Maya Margit. China is covered by smog, and it shows no signs of dissipating. This time, pollution in Shanghai hit its highest level since January on Tuesday, forcing schools, factories and construction sites to close. It's terrible. This morning I posted on my WeChat moments that the pollution makes me feel uncomfortable. Public opinion is growing increasingly critical of the government's promises to remedy the situation. On Tuesday, the ruling Communist Party once again pledged to take steps to reduce air pollution. We will use greater determination and better measures to prevent air pollution in the Beijing region, as well as the Yangtze River Delta and the Pearl River Delta areas. But a solution to the crisis won't be easy to find. Heavily polluting factories near major Chinese cities rely on coal to produce electricity. In addition, a growing number of cars on the roads continue to exacerbate the problem. However, one expert on Asian affairs remains optimistic arguing that China has enthusiastically embraced green technology and that it's only a matter of time before the issue is resolved. If you look at the 20 most polluted cities in the world, none of them are in, none of them are in China. The, they're by and large in South Asia, mainly in India, but there is not a single Chinese city in that top 20. I don't think we should expect their air quality um, problem to persist through sheer neglect. Until a solution is found, many companies are cashing in, with one company selling bottles of fresh Canadian mountain air for up to $30 each. After last week's first ever red alert in Beijing, sales of Vitality Air have soared, with bottles of, quote, premium oxygen selling out almost instantly. The company has marketed itself as a solution to pollution, and other businesses are beginning to follow suit. A restaurant in the city of Shanja Kang recently started charging customers for fresh air by adding a surcharge to people's bills.